finally got a chance to meet little Drakari. The last time when I interviewed the mom, you know, we met outside the hospital because he was inside recovering and she would always say he's a happy baby. He's a happy baby. Guys, met him, was with him for a good hour, smiled the entire time. Now, just like the first interview, the mom did not want to be shown on camera, but the little boy was, and she says him smiling is all that matters. Say cheese. Say cheese. He's doing a lot better. We are finally home, and... He's healing. Desiree Foster is grateful her 10 month old son, Drakari Robinson Jr., is out of the hospital. He's crawling again. He's back to his normal smiley self. If you smile, it, that's, he's him again, which is all anybody's asked for. Back in mid February, Foster was working overnight when she got a phone call that her son had been burned. The little boy was at home with his father at the time. She rushed home, saw the burns, and got him to the hospital. There, she says doctors discovered numerous injuries. Underneath that shirt, he has a compression wrap on. Um, he is scarred from the chest, all over the back, his inner thigh. Little Drakari spent the next two months recovering at Children's Hospital. Foster says the doctors and nurses were great, but they warned her that his road to recovery will be a long one. It's difficult. He has doctor's appointments constantly. Um, we're still waiting on some of his fingers to auto amputate, so that's pretty scary. She says he's at the doctor's office four times a week, and for her, she's recovering too. I haven't been able to return to work because I'm still trying to figure everything out, figure my schedule out. I'm just, I'm trying to heal as much as I can. Foster says she's grateful for the GoFundMe. The money has been helping her to get by, but ultimately she's just happy to have her baby home smiling once again. I told you guys last time, this baby does not, he does not cry. He doesn't do anything. Like all he does is that right there. Smile, laugh and talk to people like, this is my miracle, baby. Now, as for the father, he was arrested on child abuse charges back in March. And Desiree Foster says that since then, the prosecuting attorney have told her that he's been offered a plea deal, which includes some jail time and probation. She is not happy about that. She wants him to truly be held accountable for his actions. And see, he, she says that he will return to court later this month. Now, in the meantime, she says that she plans to change her son's name so that it does not match the father's reporting live here in Warren, Lauren Edwards, Fox 2 News.